Welcome. Today we're gonna talk about Silverback Gorillas vs Grizzly Bears. Please subscribe for more amazing videos. For more information on this topic and full coverage, check out the link in the description. Can you picture a fight between a silverback gorilla versus a grizzly bear? Before we begin, let's clarify which animals we are actually talking about. Though many people know them or refer to them as silverback gorillas, the term silverback is actually exclusive to the adult males of the species properly known as the mountain gorilla, Gorilla beringii beringii. If there were ever to be a fight between a grizzly bear, Ursus arctos horribilis, and a silverback gorilla, there would be a clear winner, but let's get back to that in a moment. While these animals may share a few similarities, the silverback gorilla and the grizzly bear are very different animals, who live in many different habitats, eat quite different diets, and grow to vastly different sizes. Although a silverback gorilla is very fast, quite strong, and has a longer arm span, there is no way a silverback could defeat the much larger and faster grizzly bear in a fair fight. Let's compare silverback gorillas and grizzly bears. In general, silverbacks are considered peaceful creatures. They do not attack humans except in very rare circumstances. Grizzlies, on the other hand, can be quite aggressive. They mostly avoid humans when they can, but sometimes they will stumble into a campsite, or an errant hiker will get between a mother and her cubs. In such cases, these bears are a grave danger to humans, and our larger primate cousins would not fare much better. The grizzly's claws alone, which can be as long as 4 inches, would give it a significant advantage in an altercation with a silverback, but let's really compare the grizzly bear and the silverback gorilla to see just how big an advantage the grizzly has over the silverback. These animals have a few things in common, such as their strength, and their ability to walk either upright or on all fours, but really, that is where the similarities end. They are both classified as omnivores, but the silverback does not eat any animals aside from insects, while the grizzly eats a lot of fish and other small animals. Some of the starkest differences between these two animals include Silverback Gorilla's Starkest Differences Size, 6 feet, 485 pounds Habitat, Mountain Forest Approximately 10,000 Foot Elevation Lifespan, greater than 40 years old. Species, Gorilla beringii beringii. Speed, 20 miles per hour. Temperament, mostly docile. Feet, two hands, two feet, for opposable thumbs. Starkest differences of a grizzly bear. Size, 8 feet, hind feet, 800 pounds. Habitat, woodlands, forests, alpine meadows, prairies. Lifespan, 20 to 25 years old, species, Ursus arctos, speed, 35 miles per hour, temperament, moderately aggressive, feet, 4 feet, 20 toes, 20 claws. The 5 key differences between silverback gorillas versus grizzly bears. Number 1. Head and face. A grizzly bear has a large round head with an almost canine nose. Silverback gorillas have flatter noses, with prints as unique as human fingerprints and pointier heads. Number 2. Ears. Silverback gorilla ears are hard to distinguish from human ears and have a similar head placement. Grizzly bears have small, round, furry ears, high on their heads. Number 3. Hair. Grizzly bears have thick dark brown fur. Silverback gorillas are covered in soft, springy hair, except on their palms, chest, faces, and the bottoms of their feet. Number 4. Size, Height and Weight. On average, silverback gorillas are about 2 feet shorter than grizzly bears when they both stand on their hind feet. Silverback gorillas can reach up to nearly 500 pounds, which is about half the weight of the largest grizzly bears. Number 5. Claws. Grizzly bears have 20 claws, several inches in length, one on each toe of their four feet. Silverback gorillas have nails on their fingers and toes like humans. Thank you for checking this video. If you wish to give your opinion, please comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.